what it is, it's your boy Dutch the Damon, and you now watching Damon Time with Dutch. On today's episode of Prison Stories Uncut, oh, we over East Baltimore and that Maryland penitentiary with it, man. Now, this situation took place over 20 some odd years ago, right? He had me trapped down there in that pen. Now, this situation is going to be part two to the good brother Wendell story. Rest in peace, Wendell. So without further ado, we're going to go ahead and pick up right where we left off. Now, for all those who haven't watched part one to this story, go watch it. But I'm going to give you a little background on the story just in case you haven't. Now, like I said, Wendell was from my father's neighborhood over East Baltimore in that Harford Road area, J30, 30th and Jennifer Street, right? I'm from Holland and Ridge Projects, but I used to come over there every weekend to see my dad and I would play with them, the kids around his way. That was like my little over there crew for real. Wendell, all of them. So to speed things up, I hadn't seen Wendell since I was 11 years old because me and my father had a falling out and I stopped coming over there. I ain't see Dell until we met back up in the penitentiary years later, grown men. Like I said, man, we got like, we was like cousins over there. We had got so tight over that penitentiary. And the brother was telling me how he lost his baby mother. And how he had to take care of his kids by himself now. And he was hurt by that shit. Now, Wendell didn't know this at the time. But his uncle was supposed to be the one that did that to his baby mother. And like I said in the story, Dell was living at Big Mama house. And just like everybody else in the family, he was living at Big Mama house. And his uncle was too, the crazy uncle. Now, a couple new screws. On this particular day, nobody was home but the uncle, the baby mother. Stop, ran in the house to grab something out the house. She falls victim, end up getting deleted. Now, mind you, at this time, nobody knew the uncle had nothing to do with this shit. But at this time, it was like an ongoing thing. They trying, it's like an ongoing investigation. They trying to figure out what happened. But they just found that in the house, you feel? So the uncle is still living in the house after all of this stuff happened. Now, let's bring it up. Fast forward the story. Wendell goes home after a while, after serving all that time. Hit the Baltimore streets, end up getting deleted after a while out there in the credit ass streets, man. So now him and his baby mother gone. So what does that mean? Kids ain't got no parents now. Who got to pick up the slack? Big mama. What does that mean? They still stand in the house with that uncle. So like I said, Dell went home, got deleted. But the whole time we was in that penitentiary, his little brother was in there with us too. He, he went home before his little brother. His little brother's name was Cody. Right, Lil' Cody. Lil' Cody was a good brother, too. My man, stand up, little gangster. You feel me? Stand on business, don't play. Look, just like Wendell, just a smaller version. And he actually was the one that broke the news to me, man, and told me about my boy, Dell. You know what I mean? That shit broke my heart, man. So long story short, I ends up, after we get the news, I ends up, um, a couple months later, getting transferred out of the penitentiary and getting sent down MCI J and just so I get sent down to J. So while I'm down to J, Lil' Cody ends up finishing his sentence. He gets sent home. He get released, right? He got to go back and stay at Big Mama house. You know what I mean? There's no bullshit. When I first came home, I was working at Monroe Muffin and Brick out in Towson, Baltimore County, right? I had came home with the trade school, started fucking around with the cars and shit. And I wasn't even driving at this time. I had just got out. I ain't had shit. I was still trying to be productive. Every day when I get to work in the morning, I would walk down the street and go to this McDonald's next to the five guys right there out in Towson, right? And most of those mornings, I would run into Lil' Cody. He would be doing the same thing. For sure, he was whipping and all that, had a little job. He would be coming to get coffee in the morning, too. So always show me big love when he sees me. You know what I mean? So always talk about Wendell. So long story short, I don't see Lil' Cody no more for like a year, right? So one day, I'm over in the hood, being in the trenches, and Cody name get brought up, right? We talking about being over the pen and shit like that. And niggas brought Cody name up. So I'm like, man, what the fuck? Show up with show that. I ain't seen him in a minute. Niggas tell me Cody over the city jail. I'm not going to believe this. Lil' Cody had a baby mother too, right? And by him staying at Big Mama house with the rest of the family, same scenario happened. Nobody wasn't home. Cody baby mother comes in the house to do something. The crazy uncle in there, same result. She gets deleted. This man, uncle, was nuts. When the shit happened to Wendell, it didn't get out that it was him. But when the shit happened to Cody, it gets out that it's the uncle. Two baby mothers gone. So the uncle get grabbed up. They books the uncle, lock his ass up, right? Send him over that turret dome in the city jail. Now, Lil' Cody was locked up when all this shit happened. He was over the city jail fighting some type of charges. I don't know what he was booked for, but he was booked. But he over that jail when his uncle come over there. And you already know Cody a good brother. And this nigga that just deleted his baby mother comes over to jail. Brothers get on his ass and hit him with them blicks. Bam! I'm talking about helicopter landing and everything, man. They had to fly that man up out of that city jail. They say Cody was calling home. 
Big mom in there. I'm like, stop, please don't do nothing to my son, this, that, and the third. Full time. This man deleted this man, big mother, and his brother, big mama. But big mama still was protecting him. Or trying to. Long story short, the uncle getting booked, put in the insane asylum. Put him in the insane asylum. Slash prison. Which is probably Clifton T. Perkins or Patuxent or something like that. But anyway, sad part about the whole thing is, man, my boy, rest in peace, my boy Cody ended up beating the charge, going home and getting deleted out there in them streets his damn self, man. So now, them kids ain't got no parents whatsoever. Just sad all the way around the board, man. Long live my brothers. Wendell and Cody, man. Love y'all. See you when I get there.